South Dakota, let's talk about how we get mail on the road. Let's talk about how we set up a residency in the state of South Dakota, domiciled residency to be clear. But first, let's get there. I got a fire in me, you're gonna set to burn. Let's talk about South Dakota. Let's talk about domiciling in South Dakota, how we get our mail. Uh, hope you enjoyed that ride over the Rockies. We had, you know, it was just an unexpected uh, storm that came through. We didn't see that on our any of our apps, and so that made it for a fun experience. And then to have the bag of bunions pop, let's just say when we got to Terry Bison Ranch in Wyoming, which if you haven't stopped there, that's a must stop. Um, may have needed that beer or two uh, while we listen to live music and stuff. So that worked out great for us. But after that, we made our way to America's Mailbox in South Dakota. This is our mail forwarding company that we chose um, to handle all of our mail needs, as well as they helped us with our vehicle registration and our driver's license to become South Dakota residents. I will put a link down below to America's Mailbox website, and a lot of frequently asked questions can be answered there, as well as picking up the phone and talking with them. Everything we're saying here isn't legal advice in any way. We're just sharing our experience. But we've so far... Uh, really enjoyed this company's services and you know it's just worked out for us so hopefully that continues going on in the future so we left home out of the state of nevada that's where we sold our house and we you know we we were residents legal residents you know when we joined jumped into this uh full-time rv life um i had signed up for a mail forwarding company that had a nevada address and i thought we were in the clear all of our mail started going there and you know everything was working really smoothly um, until I went to re renew my vehicle registration in Nevada and the state itself would not accept that address it just so happens we we're making our way to South Dakota to go check out Mount Rushmore now South Dakota is one of the three RV friendly states you have South Dakota Texas and Florida those are the three states that most RVers will set up a domicile aka legal residency with because if you have any banking vehicle registration you have to have a legal address now, Jody and I, we didn't want to burden any friends or family. We were trying to figure out a solution for this, and so we started looking a little bit deeper into South Dakota. We had considered Texas in the past just because we have family there, and it's right in the middle, and it's somewhere that we'll probably be spending some time um, at some point. But we just kind of kept going back and forth, and as we were out here last year, checking out Mount Rushmore, checking out you know Custer State Park, checking out Sturgis and all the coolness around here, um, which in our next episode we'll be highlighting a lot of that so make sure to subscribe we 
just fell in love with the area. And so we started looking on Zillow and different, you know, realtor web websites, looking for land and stuff. And because on the back of everything we're doing, we do want to establish a home base somewhere at some point because just living out on the road can be very exhausting. Sometimes you just want a place to go back to um, and do your maintenance and just kind of relax a little bit. So we fell in love with this area. There's a lot to do. And this would be a perfect area for us, in our opinion, to set up a home base. But that's something that we still intend to do um, once housing prices get back to reality. We'll wait for that to happen, but uh, in the meantime, you know, we looked into America's mailbox, we liked everything we saw, so we ended up setting up a private mailbox, also known as a PMB with them. Um, they helped us with the, DM, with the DMV, and when we went there, we were in and out in 15 minutes with our driver's license. All they do is make you sign a piece of paper saying that um, we then used America's mailbox to help us get our vehicle registration in South Dakota. It was super simple. They walked us through the steps, it required a little bit of paperwork, but they, it, they were excellent you know they have a full department inside america's mailbox that helps you with that stuff for a small fee it was well worth it for us because i didn't want to have to go into down to the county and deal with all that stuff so i was like yes please take care of that right so they took care of it for us and the actual vehicle registration was a fraction of the cost of what you know the truck and trailer would have cost us in the state of nevada so i was pretty happy with that everything's going great and we've been using them we've been getting our mail um, all of our mail, no matter where we're out in the country, comes here to America's Mailbox in Box Elder, South Dakota. It comes to our uh, private mailbox, and then depending on you know where we're at, we'll have our mail forwarded to us. Now they do have the option in the package that we chose to have our mail. Uh, we can choose what pieces of mail we want opened and scanned. So if we need to see what's inside a piece of mail sooner, we can. And I've utilized that option multiple times. So yeah, so that's where all our mail goes. Now how does it get to us? Let's talk about that. So. A lot of campgrounds will accept packages. Don't ask them ever if they'll accept mail and always double check with them if they do accept packages because some campgrounds don't. Um, but I will say never ever ask them if they accept mail because uh, I we almost got thrown out of a campground in Utah because I asked them, do you accept mail here? And they thought we were trying to establish ourselves in their campground and they did not like that. The manager did not like that at all. And then I had to go through this whole explanation. Yeah, so when we request our mail to be forwarded, it comes in a package or multiple packages, depending on how much mail's uh, accumulated. And then it comes to the campground and we go get it. Or we use like a ship and shack or like a lo local mail company, um, like mail service or whatever. A lot of them you can call for a small fee. They'll uh, allow you to pick up your mail as well as campgrounds. Some campgrounds will actually charge you a small fee just for the handling. I don't mind it um, because you really don't have many other choices. I have used general delivery on a couple occasions. Um, I prefer not to though, just for my own you know, experiences. So just yeah, so that's how we get mail on the road. Everything comes to Box Elder and then we have it forwarded to us once we're in a place that we can have it forwarded to us. It's pretty easy and we live in a digital age now so most things can come through email. Uh, you know, There are a few companies that still send things through snail mail and the cool thing is, is we don't get all those ads and all that stuff anymore. It's so. an awesome state to go, you know, go explore it. If you get a chance, you know, go check it out. Go check out the Black Hills. We have a couple videos on them. Uh, the next video we do is actually going to be, you know, about things to do around the Black Hills. So we're going to show you some of the things we did this trip in the Black Hills. And uh, if you haven't already, go check out our Mount Rushmore video. Uh, uh, that's an awesome uh, just experience. And every time we go back, there's a little bit more open. So, cause they're doing construction and all around it. We're enjoying that. And we do plan on coming back next year and, and doing another video. We're gonna do a video every year on Mount Rushmore possibly. I don't know, we'll see. So uh, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any value out of it, hit the thumbs up and we'll see you down the road.